Hey everybody, welcome back to Hardworking Man. I'm Rachel and today's the day we're getting our outdoor wood boiler installed. We have our buddy Jason over here running the Mini X that we borrowed from some friends. <laughs> and he's digging the line right now that's gonna go out. I don't know what any of it's called, it's not my forte. Heath isn't here, he has to work until noon and then he'll be back. So <laughs> hopefully I can do a good job as project manager and remember everything you told me and we'll get this thing installed today. All right, here we are working on the outdoor boiler. Oh no, he's crushing my plant. <laughs> All right, we have Jason here running the mini X. He's a pro. Get nice and close. Digging the line out. Man, that's good precision. Now we're digging down 24 inches here is the goal. the back of the basement of the sand. Jason's just knocking down stuff in his way apparently. It must be hitting his back. He doesn't like it. Gotta get back there.
So digging next to the house, there's a sub pump line where the water goes out to the woods and accidentally hit that, ripped it out. So now we're gonna try to find the rest of it. And there it is. Look, came out of there. That's all right. We'll have to connect her back. No big deal. Things happen. Oh, that's some thick clay. Yeah, it's got some advantages, not many. All right, got her hooked all back up. Jason performed some surgery. <laughs> I just got home from work and my buddy's already got the trench dug. Rachel's been getting the footage of it. I had to pick up a five inch coring drill so we could core this out because I got black. We didn't want to crack it. I was going to just use my hammer drill and the chisel bits for it, but he said I could crack it. We didn't want to get a line and then have it run up or something. So we've got it. We're going to feed the pipe through, feed the wire through, and then we'll get back to work outside. All right, now we got to try to get this thermoplex through that hole. And Rachel's on the phone with a client right now. So I'm going to set the camera down and see if we can get this in there. He needs some hard working man strength. I need like a block or something. Okay, we've got the thermoplex and the direct burial wire straight into the basement. We didn't get that on film. Rachel was in working with a client. The, the battery died in the camera and we both had to do it because getting that thing bent back straight to get through that hole we had to put it over top of this two by ten to unbend it a little bit then we had to feed it through the hole so we've got that we'll backfill and then while we're doing this and have the trench after we get some backfill on we're going to put a uh, drain spout out to the woods off from this downspout so that we don't have to worry about it getting hit with the mower and everything again jason's mixing up some hydraulic cement to seal that hole into the basement so we don't have any more leaks than we already have. And we'll get that sealed up, backfill it, and on to the next step. He said he'd have this done when I got home from work, but like all men, he uh, overestimated his performance. Now Jason has his own mini excavator that is much nicer than this one, but we borrowed this from the neighbors and it's getting the job done. All clay soil here. If I had to dig this by hand, I did on the other side of the house, I put my drain spout down to the drainage ditch there. And what I did was I used the subsoiler, three point subsoiler on the back of my tractor, which is just like a a blade that goes down with a small little wedge on it and I use that and I drug it to loosen the soil and then dug it all out by hand and buried that one by hand but and the back corner of this house that downspout's already buried it was like that when we bought it so now since he's doing this we're going to get another one buried for this one
here's the drain tile. This was out in the woods when we bought the house, and like I said, I already did one downspout with it, and now we're gonna get another one. There's the sump pump line coming out. We'll get the drain tile for the gutters put in. He's gonna level this down and pack it down. I do. He bought that, put a repurposed Honda engine on it. He does a lot of excavation work, culverts, driveways, wrench drains, all kinds of stuff. spout, drain that out into the woods, get this back filled. Okay, so when I bought this boiler and I asked everybody, put down stone or pour a pad? Unanimously, everybody said pour a pad. Now, I bought this boiler for $1,000. I'm not sure how great it is. I'm hoping it's going to last me a couple years, but I thought, you know what? I've got some pieces of sidewalk that we took out when we redid it with stone and pavers and I've got big enough pieces, I said, let's just put down some stone, get a nice pad, level pad, and we'll put those pieces of sidewalk on, and that'll be our pad for now. Then I can easily just unhook the boiler, lift it, remove it, and pour a pad when the time comes, or when it's time to replace the boiler, I can do it then. So I'll show you guys what we got. So I bought all this stone here so we can get a nice level pad. It's non-MDOT or Michigan Department of Transportation approved stone. Not sure what that means, but here's the pieces of sidewalk that I've been saving for some project, and now I know which one it is. So this is some sidewalk pieces we took out. We're just going to put them together, put two side by side, and then one along the end. And if I have enough, I'll do one along the other end too to make as big a pad as I can out of this. And then Jason's actually buying a concrete saw, so when he gets that, we'll square the ends off on these to make it look a little bit nicer. So that's the plan for the somewhat pad. It's like a precast. Instead of actually pouring a pad right now, it's already November, and we got to get this thing in so we can get it running for the winter. The heat exchanger's been ordered. I've got the boiler plate, a 20-plate boiler plate for the hot water. Now I just need my brother to come out and get that installed. Getting everything cleaned up, get it packed down. 
and then onto the stone. Got a little bit over seven ton of that stone, two loads and then an end dump trailer. Unfortunately, my regular tractor bucket is up at the property, so we're gonna have to use the bulk material bucket. It's a giant bucket. So we're gonna have to take small scoops, or they'll look small, but they'll still be big. I tried to throw that bucket in the back of the truck by hand up at the property and one person isn't doing that, not even when you're the hard working man. So we'll work with what we have. Alright, we're getting the spot measured so it will be square with the house. The total size of the pad is going to be 6 foot wide by 11 foot long. Just want to make sure it's going to look good when we get it in there. So it's going to go three feet behind that piping. All right, so Heath's got to scoop up the stone over here.
stone leveled out. This guy's an expert at it, as you can see. And then uh, get those precast old pieces of sidewalk on here. Get the boiler set in and that's it for the day. Next step, we'll be getting my brother out here to get everything plumbed inside. We use the Thermaplex water line. It's two one inch pieces of PEX, basically ran inside closed cell foam with a four inch uh, plastic outer shell. Buried it at 24 inches. That's what the guy who we bought it from recommends. At 24 inches, you should be above all your other utilities, except obviously our sump pump line. Okay, and there shouldn't have been any other utilities out here. But he said with that, with the closed cell foam, 24 inches is all you need to go down. If you get down too deep, you can get into groundwater, which shouldn't be an issue here because we are up on the higher part of our property. But 24 inches should work just fine. Everything doesn't always go as planned. I was trying to get these pieces of sidewalk, which I moved around before and I set them over here without an issue and I broke my longest one in half. So it looks like the plans have changed. We're still just going to use these and get what we can get out of them, but we're not going to have as big a pad as I thought. We'll still have enough to set the boiler on though. It is what it is. This one should be good. I think she's due for a replacement. scoot that back a little. We fit it too perfectly together.
There it is. Somewhat of a fail, not what I expected. I thought I had more sidewalk pieces, more length than I had, which I did until I broke one. I expected it to come out to about here. I didn't measure it, I was just guessing because it was just a rush to get this in this year. Winter's coming, we didn't have a lot of time. Jason could come out today and we got it in. It's sitting here, ready to be hooked up. We've got it up on these sidewalk pieces. We put some bricks under here. Even though we didn't do a pad this year, we'll probably do one next year because I can see why everyone recommended it, how much better it'll be. But we used the good pipe, we raised it up so it's gonna be easier to fill, easier to work in, and I mean, it's here, it's in, our downspout's in. I gotta get obviously some stone coming up here to get wood to it, we'll bring IBC totes to it, and let's show you how we are gonna hook it up in the back. So in the back, this piece was thicker than the other ones, which is another reason we lost some of our length. So we had to put this one back here, but now I at least have this for when I'm back here cleaning out these tubes. I won't be standing down there. I'll be up here. There's the uh, heat transfer tubes that go through here that you need to keep clean and anything else I have to do. We've got the pipe run up. I, we should have left it longer probably and we've got the electrical cord. So now all that's left is for my brother to come out and get everything plumbed in. Hopefully you guys learned a little something. Learned that everything doesn't always go right, especially with minimum planning. It was just a thought I had to do it this way. And it worked, it's gonna, it's gonna work. It's gonna heat our house, it's gonna heat our water, but it's not pretty and it's not gonna be as easy to clean up as I had hoped, but hey, it is what it is. Thanks for watching Hardworking Man, guys. Have a great night.